So we're going to be sewing along this seam and this seam right here. I'm going to be doing a double row of stitches, one um, closely to the edge and then one a bit further away in our seam lines. Um, I'm lucky because I have an industrial sewing machine that is uh, quite capable of sewing together these two layers of leather. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine that can handle it, or a sewing machine at all, um, there's no need to despair, you can sew this by hand. Um, you can actually sew anything by hand. Um, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that traditionally, when, when we sew, whether it's on a sewing machine or um, on a, by hand, you do two operations in one go. You basically pass the needle through the material, punch a hole, and then pass the thread through the material uh, in one go. Um, as you sew or with the sewing machine. <clears throat> when we are hand sewing leather, we're going to be separating these two steps and we're going to punch the holes individually and then pass the thread through. And to punch those holes we use a tool, it's called an owl, which is basically something that looks uh, like it was meant to stab people um, and it's actually meant to stab the leather. To make your, your stitches distributed evenly and, and have a neat row of stitches if you're hand sewing, um, you can use a little tool like this, which is basically like a spiked little wheel that you then uh, run along the edge while you push it down and it will create little uh, little dimples in the in the ladder and then you can use those as a guide um, to to punch your holes with your owl you punch a hole in all of those dimples and then um, you're going to be sewing the ladder and so when sewing ladder by hand imagine these two go together and you've punched holes there um, I'm going to use um, this nail as my imaginary needle when sewing clothes, you have one thread and you just work your way through. Sewing leather, you're going to use two threads and you're going to be zigzagging like that. So you have two wires that are going to be doing like this. That's how you hand sew the leather. But as I said before, I will be sewing these together on my sewing machine and then we'll continue to the next step. When sewing leather, <coughs> um, you want to make sure not to use a too short um, stitch length. Uh, because when you're sewing textiles, the needle will sort of go between the fibers. But when you're sewing leather, you're actually punching a hole in the leather. And if you have too many holes too close to each other, you're sort of weakening the leather and uh, you don't want that. So I'm going to set a generous stitch length. You also want to use a thicker, stronger thread to sew. So I've now sewn the seam, as you can see here. We have now completed the uh, first step of our uppers. Um, this purple is kind of dark, so you might not be able to see it, but we have the black tip and then the purple for the rest of the shoe. We're going to put these aside for a moment, and we're going to be doing the exact same thing to construct the lining of our uh, shoes. 